Hey guys, so classmate asked, the Rydberg's constant is 1.097 times 10 to the power of 7 per meter, but the value given in my textbook is 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. Can you help me to clear out confusion between the two values of the RH constant? Before we begin, let's first understand what exactly the Rydberg constant is. The Rydberg constant was developed by the Swedish physicist Johannes Rydberg, describing the frequencies of light in various series of related spectral lines. The constant appears in the Balmer formula. Me and Mp refer to the mass of the electron and proton respectively. E represents the electron's charge, C the speed of light, epsilon naught the permittivity of free space, and H Planck's constant. This formula is based off of the spectral lines of the hydrogen atom. So if we substitute in all our values on what the constants equal, and what our electron and proton mass and electric charge is for hydrogen, we get the RH constant as being 1.097 times 10 to the power of 7 per meter. But then why the other value if these values within our equation must stay constant? What we first need to note is that the second value is in terms of joules, which is a completely different unit than the per meter. Joules represents energy, while the per meter represents wave number, or the inverse of wavelength, with wavelength being measured in meters. In fact, these values are two different constants with two different names. Rydberg's constant is what is expressed in per meters, while Rydberg's unit of energy is what we see in joules. Rydberg's unit of energy is closely related to the Rydberg constant with the corresponding to the energy of the photon whose wave number is the Rydberg constant. I hope this video helped you to learn more about and understand the difference between Rydberg constant and Rydberg's unit of energy.